Okay, now. A few days ago, I was singing the praises of two people, Ona Shook and Jeffrey Zhang. Mm -hmm. Ona Shook got beat worse than anybody's ever been beaten ever in both games by a player that's like, I don't know, 20 points lower rated than him or maybe higher. I don't know. Anyway, it was the most embarrassing defeat of my career watching Ona Shook get destroyed. I've never seen Ona Shook get destroyed. To be fair, Ona Shook is 100 years old, but still... He won the first round very easily, and the second round he got beat like he couldn't play. If I ever see Onishuk, I'm going to be like, what was that? <clears throat> I've never seen Onishuk get beat like that. Conversely, Jeffrey Zhang, who's not 100 years old, he's 20. Now, okay, so the first game, Jeffrey Zhang built a crushing position. He was like plus 1.7. Then he played horrible and drew. Horrible. And I was like, what happened to my horse? He had white, he was doing great, and he messed it up. Now he's black, so now I'm looking bad. Right, because I'm like, Jeffrey Zhang, Jeffrey Zhang. And they're like, you're pronouncing Jeffrey wrong. You're pronouncing Zhang wrong. He he drew the first game with white. You know, you guys terrible. Stuff happened. R.A. Kelly and other stuff. Yeah, Ace, Deuce, 100 cents of Deuce. R.A. Kelly, five sub of Deuce. And Ace, Deuce just earned his badge. Yay. I told Ace Deuce that was good, and he said he doesn't need no stinking badges. Now, technically, Ace Deuce refers to what city in Michigan? Um, hmm. I don't know. Ann Arbor. Oh. Does two A's. Ace Deuce. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Huh. Mm -hmm. C.L. Smith... You've never left the confines of Alabama. How do you know? Probably Alabama played Michigan in football or basketball once. That's mm -hmm. how we know. You probably said it on the stream. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, Flint, boo, boo. You bet I'm winning the World Cup? Um, if you got some odds, yeah. If you didn't get odds, no. There's like 400 players. You can't bet on one person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, this isn't 103% because I give 103%. All right. Now... In this game, Jeffrey equalizes, yeah. then he's slightly better, then he's clearly better, and then he's winning, and then the guy resigns. That's how he beat me, right? But this guy's better than me. But he just, it looks like he's a, he just can't play. Mm -hmm. Jeffrey's way too good. And the funny thing is they started from a symmetrical position. Notice it's symmetrical. Did you notice mm -hmm. that? I noticed. Yeah. So That's he's black. <laughs> It, he's black, symmetrical position, and he wins without any problem because he's Jeffrey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if, and, and, and I didn't do this yet, so I could get embarrassed on the stream. Won't be the first time. I'm going to see the game report of this game because Jeffrey played really well. So it still looks boring and, you know, equal because it's boring and equal, mm -hmm. right? Nobody's better here. I've never been so bored. Obviously, queen b3 to d1 to c2 is stupid. Why are you so stupid? Now, you don't want to take with a queen because of the latent potential against your d-pawn. So he takes with a pawn because he, you know, backed up against the bishop. Okay, so white played queen here, queen here, queen here, queen here, queen here. And it's still about equal. Man, chess is hard. Just looks like, and he did it again. Here, 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 here. Now the engine lights black. Hey, Felix Frias. Okay, now he has the winning kingside attack, except for one thing. Okay, and now look at this cool move. The engine likes it. F6. Mm -hmm. He wants to play knife F5. If he doesn't play F6, like, he, like his knight's attacked, right? He moves his knight. Then bishop f6, and then white can't do anything over there. Uh, or c5 is even better, just crushing the pawn on d4. He takes, he takes with the pawn. Um, you actually can't take with the bishop. Then after this, it says white's like virtually winning here. You're threatening this. You can't defend it because you can't play king h7. Bishop g7 hangs this pawn. 
So you have to play EF, which he did, and then knight F5. Pretty good to white, you know, get trapped. Okay. Then Jeffrey plays queen A4 to trade queens, because then this pawn's weak and this pawn's weak. And the guy's like, no, I, I know. Okay, then he plays rook there, attacking the pawn, right? Good, good. Bishop d5, he wants to put his knight in here. He wants to trade queens again. Now, Jeffrey doesn't want to trade queens like this, because this is a really, really, really weak square. Black can put all of his pieces on it. And after this, then he can. Then white pushes in the center and ridiculous. Okay. So he doubles up on the bubble up. Check. That was funny. He put all three pieces here. He put his bishop there, then his queen there, then his knight there. Mm -hmm. Just to show the dominance that he has. Looks boring, but white can't do anything. Black's too active. Now, when I was watching this game and I saw this for $100 trillion, which one of my games does that remind you of? It instantly reminded me of a game. Instantly. I said, oh, that's like my game with so-and-so. Um, I don't know. All right, there's, there's 700 people in the chat. Let's see if one of them can get it. Somebody's going to know. No, I don't think so. Where's Kangaroo? I don't think so. <laughs> my comer. I don't know is correct. The one against that guy is correct. What about the one we were just talking about? Uh, Corrales. Uh -uh. I don't know. But uh, Mama Jara, they said. Actually, that's funny. It's Mom and Jara. It, it, it wasn't like that, though. It was something else. It something like the rooks in there. Yeah. It reminded me. Mm -hmm. Here's why it reminded me. In this position, black can't play here. And then white plays this blunder, and now this wins. And that was done against me very good. Johnny Cotillo's right. Me against Nick DeFermian. I'm pretty sure it was 94. Could have been 95. I think it was 94. In Chicago. Wasn't it 94? Somebody back me up. Yeah, it's my game with DeFermian. I was white and he was defending and he moved. He actually made the move and had his hand on it and put it back because he realized what he did, but he had to move it. It was his knight. It wasn't a bishop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, 94. How, why would they? Yeah, come on. Okay. Now, white activated his queen. I mean, you have to defend your knight, right? So there. It's a good square for your queen. B4. Now, look how good B4 is. Look at this. See the queen on B3? If you take, <clears throat> bam! Right? Oh, no, he didn't. Now, if you look at this position, okay, forget about all the moves before it. Just look at that position. Like, if Magnus walks up to this game, he's thinking... God damn, white's getting crushed. That's what he's thinking. He's like, well, black's just crushing white. White's like, ah, and black's raw, mad from a symmetrical opening. And the engine, the engine just says white resigns. Mm -hmm. Okay, always guess Defermian. Very good. I have beaten Defermian twice, so that's okay. All right, so watch the finish. Knight f1, attacking the rook. Queen b2, attacking that rook. And now, Jeffrey, who knows me very well, we played the last tournament, right? Always sacrifice the exchange. Bam! Now, white has a very active position, except for one thing. Yeah. Frankly, terrible. Yeah. What's funny is white played the engine move here. See, this is annoying. So he played the engine move, he got rid of it. And then he resigned. <laughs> There's two pieces and, and a pawn for a rook, and rook g3 is a threat, rook h3 is a threat, and so forth. And mm -hmm. plus six. Mm -hmm. So Jeffrey just ran over Mikhailovsky with black. That's the Jeffrey that I know. Like his opponent had no chance that game. And he had white. Go Jeffrey. So when Jeffrey's world champion next year, I want, you know, when he beats Napoleon,
No, I haven't been streaming SJ Cantoral, but I do plan to resume. How do you get better at chess? Play like Jeffrey Jean. All right, let's see how stupid I am. I'm Pietro's there. Why am I... Yeah, he gave money. Oh, Why am I so stupid? Good night. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. Go, Jeffrey. Mm -hmm. He better have played at least 98 or I'm going to be furious. They're like, the board's wrong. What are you doing? And that's what they do. You could have a nice layout. Yeah, how did Jeffrey play? <laughs> it doesn't have to be like that. Hold on. <laughs> okay. How did Jeffrey play? 98.8. .8. Yeah. Frankly, great. You can have some different layouts. And his opponent, well, I have a layout for this, but I don't want to change it. I'm just like, it's right. too bad for them. Okay. And then 93.1 for white. Mm -hmm. Man, playing 98.8 .8 with black against like a 2600 GM, that's hard to do. But yeah, it just makes the guy look terrible. Like, like why, why am I playing this guy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Et cetera. Well, he played 99.6 against me because he had to play better to beat me. Except for one thing. 